it's a day since I posted a video, but um, tomorrow we got an opening drinking event hosted by none other than Swag Society at the Oceanside Pier starting at 1 o'clock. $3 a jerker. Please come check it out. We need all the support we can get. Again, we are not competing. We are just here to judge, and we'll be shooting part three um, following that probably about an hour after that. All right, today's topic is on the clinic. This is really random, but I was thinking this because I had to go there the other day. The women's clinic. All right, when you go there, you know what I'm talking about. This is the clinic where you go to get birth control. You know, you got to get all your fun goodies and bags, you know, all that good stuff there. When you go in there, maybe it's just me, but when, the one I went to, it is all Spanish. Like, no white people, no racism, but it's like, you know, maybe it's because we're in San Marcos. I don't even know. First thing, you walk in there. Every guy in there looks like he just fucked up his life because he probably did. Every guy in there is like this. And, and you walk in there, I walk in there, and they're like, you too? They're not there. It's just the saddest thing ever. A guy walks in on his cell phone. He's like talking to his best friend. His best friend's like, you know, hey, what are you doing? He's like, I'm at the the doctor. You know, they try to cover it up. They're like, what for? You're like, um, I'm, I'm just at the doctor, but I'll call you back. And people are just so funny when you go in there. All right, but this is awkward for me. You know, girls go in there for the checkups. You know, got to do what you got to do. I'm sitting in there for like an hour by myself and everybody that walks by, every mom looks at me, gives me the dirtiest look like I just fucked up. Like, that could have been my daughter is what they're thinking. Off topic, but have you noticed how many girls, like not girls, just like some people who are like really skinny, really pretty faces, skinny arms, and they have hips that are like so big that when they walk it's just like, and you're like, you know, you wonder like, what do they look like? Not like no weirdness what do they look like naked no does it look funny and like do they have a disease what's your story i want to know what their story is all right so as i'm sitting there i notice they keep coming out and they keep yelling names oh and how many jose's can there be like they're like jose perez there's probably like five people in the lobby with that name so the lady will sit there with the clipboard like this and she will yell off about six names because you know how like Hispanic, Latino people, Latinas, you know, all the people out there that are watching that are Spanish or Latino, you got your mom's name and your dad's name, the last name. So this fool's sitting there, no racism. He's sitting there, listing off like six names, and they look around, no one comes, they turn around and come in. I'm sitting there, and seriously, there is about 30 people that go in, and like one that comes out. So I'm sitting there for like an hour, like, what could they be doing in there? There's a gynecologist probably looking, you know, just prescribing the medicine, like, how long does it take him to look at a vagina? Like, is he in there like this? Like, there's like 30 girls lined up, and that nigga's just in the line. I mean, didn't mean to say that word. He's sitting there, and he's just like, just checking them out one by one. Like, how long does it take to go? Diseases, you know? An hour of looking at vaginas. Okay, at first, I was like, damn, that is such a tight job. That's almost as tight as, like, the boob doctor, you know? Like, you get a, like, you get paid, like, six figures that's six digits in your in your salary a year to look at vaginas all day every guy wants the job you know that's what i think first off and then i'm seeing the girls that are going in there no bullshit these are like like i don't want to look at your vagina i don't want to look at your vagina and i definitely don't want to look at your vagina i can smell your vagina from here that is not the job i want anymore all right and then you see the guy that always comes out, like the doctor, like, you know, there's supposed to be doctor-patient confidentiality and all that. This fool comes out like this on his little trick. He loves his job. He loves, like, I mean, he loves vaginas. Like, sex with this guy must be crazy because he knows everything about your vagina. He knows where, like, the pull push lever is and the pull button and, like, this button will make your, like, ear twitch. Like, psh, like he touches the button of your vagina and your ear just be like, you know? That's intense. But I mean, there's a certain level of respect. Like in all my videos, you gotta have a certain level of respect and maturity when you go in there. Like, all these thoughts are going through my head when I'm in there, but none of this is like, you know, you're not supposed to say it. You're supposed to sit there, solemn, you know, put in your iPod, act like you don't hear anybody. No, pretend like no one's staring at you, like you just screwed up someone's life or like disrespected a girl or had sex before marriage or Christianity views. You know, anything that there is out there that they're just thinking, you gotta keep it in your head. And the main thing is, be respectful.